He's heavy. Yeah, he's got quite a. Uh, he's uh, quite a big character, and he's got a lot of. I like that his nose, sort of like his eyes are sort of inside of his nose. And his eyes are so close together, they've got to really work to get around the side, to see around his nose. In the way that any lawyer-client relationship is going to get strained, especially if one is sort of just working the edges of the law, like the fox is. I mean, it's true enough that most people don't take advice anyway. And a guy who gives advice for a living probably is more aware of that than most. I think you just got to not do it, man. That's all. I understand what you're saying, and your comments are valuable, but I'm going to ignore your advice. The cuss you are. The cuss am I? Are you cussing with me? No, you cussing with me. Don't cuss and point. You're gonna cuss with somebody. You're not gonna cuss with me. I originally tried to do it with a Wisconsin accent because the Badger is the is the the mascot of the University of Wisconsin. So I worked on my Wisconsin accent very hard. I listened to National Public Radio on the Wisconsin Channel for days, driving around the car listening to this voice. And I did the first few takes, uh, first few scenes with the Wisconsin voice, and I was feeling really pleased, you know. And I said, well, so what do you think about that? Huh? What do you, what do you think about that? And he said, well, I really see him as sort of a Savile Row lawyer kind of a badger. Okay. I didn't see him as a Savile Row lawyer kind of a badger. I don't think you would have either. That's kind of the deal. That's how he's doing. We've just got one little thing, which is a gift for you. Oh, that's so that's, nice. Uh, you have to be on the crew to get one of these, so uh, as soon as you're uh, oh, that on the is, team. That is beautiful. You can feel part of the puppet that hospital is now. beautiful. Thank you. I'm proud of this. This is really good. I like this a lot. It's an amazing amount of work. There's so many people working here. So, they're working so hard. Just hundreds of people that just work, you know, in, in fine, fine detail. It's nice to go in and say, tell me how you do this. How do you do this? How do you make this thing happen? Because it is a real, it's a real magic that they do. OK, let's go somewhere else. Learn more about the animation process. <laughs> Kim is, one of the, Kim is one of our top animators, I would say. Really? Should I be getting in good with you? Okay, come in. I want you to make me look really good in my close-up. Okay. This is Wes Anderson, the director of the fantastic Mr. Fox. And this is Kim Kukulair, who we just call Kuka Kim, who is 120 years old and looks yeah. fantastic. Look at the shape she's in for 120. What a nice figure. You get all that animating? Yeah. It's really good, just twisting these people into, into the shape they are. She's emailing someone, he's here, someone come and help me. The boss is here, he's probably coming to your set next, hurry up. We're here in the, uh, the sewer cavern where all the critters have just been flooded out of their home and they've ended up down in this sewer. You can see how everyone's just a little bit moist, a little bit that I just escaped something terrible, ah, look. What just happened? Something with cider, that was dangerous. Is anyone hurt? How, many, how much time in, in the film is this going to take, is this going to uh, is occupy? This, uh... 18 seconds shot. 18 seconds. Yes. So you can imagine all you freaks at home that have like a small train set and the amount of time it takes you to glue a bush down, how long it's going to take these people to get these uh, uh, 18 seconds worth of, of footage. But how long will it take to do the 18 seconds, Kim? It took Kim? me uh, eight days. Eight, eight days, days. And we're on, the, we're on the ninth day now. Yes, yeah. Before we go any further, from now on, can you give me some kind of a signal once in a while just so I know any of this is getting through to you? It's just a, a series of individual photographs taken of this, yeah. right? Yeah. So how many photographs make up, a, uh, make up a second? How many photographs in a you second? Take 24 photographs. Per to, second? Yeah, per second. But you animate, on, we animate on, on, on double. So we making a position with the puppet, and then we're taking two frames, two photographs. That are the same? Yeah, the same. So it's 12 poses a second, unless you want to move fast. Really fast. If there is a really fast uh, action. Someone's running or something. Yeah, yeah. Then it's 24. To make a puppet just stare, stand there staring Same. is very hard to do because if you don't mm. move them, it seems like a still. Mm. And if you move them, they start doing things like this. The, the, the most right. difficult thing is uh, to, to, to keep puppets alive when they're completely still. Choose to do an impression of a, of a, of a puppet no. looking completely still. <laughs> You nailed it. Is there any way you could come to my house and help me straighten up my desk? I mean, if you got a plan, if you could plan all this out, I bet you could figure out what's supposed to be thrown out. Even though it's stop motion animation, it has all the quirkiness and the attention to detail that all his films have. 
you know, so it's really, it's delightful to watch. It's delightful to walk through and see and just laugh because you know that he intentionally made, you know, that bottle look like this, you know. He intentionally made this bottle look like this, you know, in, in giant size. But I think our guys here have taken the technique to a, to a new place. And this is Mark Waring, who is the supervisor of all animation. So I, we're not going to fire anybody, but tell us some stuff. Inform us, educate us right now. I need to know more. <laughs> I'm looking at, at your street here, and it looks like, as you say, it looks like cotton balls that have been colored, but it's smoke when you do it here. How do you make it, how do you make it, do you just wave it, do you push it? What do yeah, you do sort it? of, it's, it's, I mean, it's co cotton wadding that's uh, it's been sprayed to give it a sort of darker tone. And then you can tease it out bit by bit to actually, uh, to pull it. So I've as you, an, anim as you animate that. it frame by frame, uh -huh. then you get a, a sort of slight drift on it, so you can just pull it up. How about okay. something else? Show us, how, show us how you do the fire. This is this is clear soak that's been carved. You can smell it. it smells good. Yeah. So you can yeah, and we carve that, and then they're just replaced. So we just take them away, and replace them with another one. So oh, you just get so a, it looks like it's so it's just got a flickering, leaping flame nice. effect. So that combined then with the with the smoke, so you get a a sort of a a fire smoky effect with with sort of basic influence. The, he's going to show us how water comes out of a hose. It's cellophane. It's, it's cellophane. Blue cellophane. Blue cellophane. And you wrap it around a little piece of wire, like yep. soldering uh, iron or something, solder or something, right? Yeah. Again, like the soap, so you replace bit by bit. But that is the basic idea. So, that'll so come it's out. basically that same piece, and then you can fold it a different yeah, way. Yeah, you can fold it, it and pull it and twist it. And it, it just changes the way the light hits yeah, it. Yeah, just a re light reflection in it. People really commit to the project, and for people that have been on a movie for two years, they act like they just got started. I mean, people are just as zealous about it as, as any time during the film. It's supposed to end in two weeks, but they don't act that way. They don't look like they're ground down or wound down. They have a, you know, they've got an impishness in their eyes. They think the whole story is a wonderful opportunity for them to show off what they do. I mean, and there's there's some serious showing off going on. <laughs> See y'all later. <laughs> well, you gotta, you gotta be taking like the eyes. Thanks everybody. Thanks everybody at the academy. Oh,